So let's look at an acorn squash. Acorn squash. Squash has been in North and Central America for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Native Americans utilize these. You can't believe the health benefits. Good for the heart, good for the brain, mm -hmm. good for just about everything. Antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamins B1 and B6, beta carotene and calcium. Wow. It can even bring your blood sugar down. I want you and us to fall in love with the basic properties of food that come off a tree or out of the ground. Sometimes you want something sweet. Do you forget how delicious and wonderful a pear is? Yes. Just the fascinating sweetness of that. If we're really hungry, sometimes, or you want something sweet or some energy, a date. That's your favorite snack. A date with a pecan. So you get some sweet. You can't believe the health benefits of that. Mm -hmm. And again, tonight's a little different show because we're not straying from our main course, but we had so many people say, I've got diabetes, I've got heart disease. So let's show how to prepare this. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna scoop out the seeds and the pulp along with that and leave the delicious, wonderful, sweet, nutty parts of this. We're gonna put apples. We're gonna put some dates. You could use raisins. We're gonna also put some pecans. It's like a little dessert. It is a little dessert and it's delicious. So we've got them prepared up to this point. So we're gonna take our little baking dish Flesh that up. So we're gonna put some water in the bottom of this pan. So just a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon makes everything good. And the salt and the sugar that we use tonight is gonna to be minimal. So people say, another question that we're asked constantly, how in the world do you all eat like you eat and not put on a lot of weight? <laughs> Being that this is the healthy night show. That's right. I'll tell you one thing we don't do. We don't drink sugary drinks. That's right. When I was a kid growing up in Iron Hill, Kentucky, in Carter County, just right up the road, mm -hmm. what do you think our water tastes like if we lived in Iron Hill? Like iron? We'd turn the water on sometimes and it was orange. We had a well. So we would disguise the taste of our water by, I can't say any name brands. I remember. But it was it red was colored, or purple. And you added sugar. And you added 14 we cups of sugar. It. We lived on That's it. That's what you drank. And, and your, your water had a little taste to yeah. it in Michigan too. So we would kind of mask the right. taste of that and drink sugary drinks. Right. That's what we did. That's right. And then we drank pop mm -hmm. nonstop. If you stop that, just that in itself, and stop eating the processed food, the chips and the things right. like that, saturated fats, start looking, start, mm -hmm. start looking at cholesterol. Guess what? My family has heart issues. Right. So guess what? I went to the doctor and they said, hey, you need to start doing this, mm -hmm. this, and this. So that becomes a part of life. Now right. that we're in our 30s, That's right. <laughs> we're going to have to start watching what we eat. That's just part of it. We can be bad sometimes. But We can be bad sometimes. Exactly. exactly. That's the point. Right. Moderation. But if you cut out the sugar drinks, the right. processed food, the chips, and things like that, you'll watch the weight fall off. Mm -hmm. You watch the saturated fats. Use olive oil, right. healthy olive oil. So one hour in the oven, 40 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of it. And we'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. So let's get our apple going, an apple a day. Keeps the doctor away. It does. If you like this show, you asked for it. We're doing this for very specific people. Let us know because we want to please you. That's what we're here for. And if you like this, let us know. We're still going to do some good old country cooking and we're going to have some crazy stuff, some fun stuff, some travel stuff. But every now and then we're going to do stuff for folks when they ask for this sort of thing. Again, the most common things that we get are heart conditions, diabetes, and alpha-gal. I can't believe the number of people, including Kelly right there, who are afflicted by this horrible tick-borne illness. All right, so in our handy-dandy chopper, we're gonna take our apples. So we've chopped our apples. We now are just basically sauteing those. This little... smells good. Between this and this, Doesn't I it smell the both, both of these smell delicious. I'll show you where I'm going here in a minute. You know, back in the old days, people ate what they raised. Mm -hmm. So what I have done in the last little bit, I have started taking pieces of fruit and started falling in love with nature again. Oh yeah. And the foods that are, if you want something sweet, there are so many choices that you can make right. in nature. Mm -hmm. Try a pear. If you haven't had a pear in a while, 
Delicious. And you want something sweet? I don't know what could get sweeter than that. We had a bumper crop of pears this year with the yes, squirrels left us. Squirrels got a lot of them. So now let's scoop out our wonderful squash, which is so good for you. So now what we've got, and I'll tell you what, if you will relieve these. Okay. And it's, I can't, if you've never had a bejewel date. Mm. They are delicious. With the pecan. That's a sneaky snack that kind of tastes like pecan pie. I can't imagine that something in nature can taste so sweet. I looked at them. It does. I like, thought, is, did they add something to that? That is like pecan pie now that you mentioned it. Is. It is. <laughs> it tastes like it. So we're going to take our dates, and you could use raisins or cranberries, dried cranberries. We're going to put that in here, along with just a little of pumpkin pie spice. Yummy. Oh, can you smell that? I can. It smells amazing. So this is a natural, wonderful treat. And we've already got some cinnamon in there. Now we're going to take our squash from whence it came. Yummy. And put it back in with its yummy additives. We're going to put that back in the oven at about 350. So we're going to take some pecans here. Everything comes straight from nature here. It almost feels like you're cheating. It's like dessert. It's wonderful. Ooh, and goat cheese. Then a so little good. goat cheese. Yummy. It's just good for you. We're going to put this back in the oven That's at 350 good. for about 10 minutes till that cheese melts. And oh my goodness, we got something good. You know what? Let's go ahead and pull that acorn squash out before going any further with this. Let's grab that. Oh, would you look at that? We have so many smells in this kitchen. Beautiful. Look how pretty. Oh, isn't it pretty? I love how you guys decorated that. That's folly looking, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we got the apples, and we got the goat cheese, and we got that gives us mm. a little salt. And I put just a little bit of parm on top of there. We got dessert first tonight. That's like dessert. You give us dessert first, we're in trouble. That's delicious. That's really, really good. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh my goodness. That's, that's pecan pie-ish. That is. With a little bit of pumpkin. Oh, that's really good. And it's cute, I like it. It looks really nice. Healthy. <laughs> that's delicious. And delicious. I beg you to try this. That is really good. If you have a health issue. Okay. That's dessert. I need something sweet. Yes. I need something wonderful that's natural and wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. It is wonderful. Wow. Mm. Delicious.